you're looking at Style Forward from the Transformation Collection, Raquel Welch, and this is the color 5660, also known as silver. This beautiful topper style was sent to me for review by wigcupid.com. I will put the discount code in the show notes below. If you head over to wigcupid.com, you'll be able to research the styles that they have there. Scroll down, you'll find a chat button where you can leave a message and they typically will respond within one business day. So we hope that you'll head over to wigcupid.com. Now about this topper. I absolutely am in love with this topper. If you take a close look, take a close look at the hairline. That is my hair peeking out there. I pulled my own hair right out from underneath the topper, put the topper on, and then just brushed my hair. It was that simple. Absolutely that simple. But in a moment, you're going to see another way that I put on the topper where I use some tape in case you um, don't have enough hair there to pull out. There is another way that you can put on the topper and you're going to see that in a moment. But I, I'm absolutely in love with this, with this product. I think it's just beautifully done. I am just absolutely in love with this product. It looks like the hair is growing right up out of the scalp. You see that? And I haven't even really gone in yet and, and uh, moved it far away from the scalp like, like, you know, you really should. You could just absolutely right out of the box, put it on your head, give it a comb, only comb it if you're going to keep it. Of course, you never want to alter a wig in any way or a topper unless you're going to keep it because you might not be able to get your money back if you return it. So all I did was I pulled out my own bio hair brushed it over the top like this. I didn't even spray it and put it on. I think I probably should buy three more of them because I'm going to wear it a lot. So let me do a spin for you. Look how natural she looks in the back. Just beautiful, beautifully done, beautifully done by Raquel Welch. Now this piece here may, may bother you if it's flopping and I love a long fringe. So for me, this is fine, but I will train her. I'll put her on the wig head and then I will just kind of, I'll take a clip. I'll just dampen her and then I'll take a clip while she's on the wig head. And right here at this part, I'll just go like that and that should train that to go back. If not, you can always take one of your low heat tools and, and train her that way as well. So. I love this topper. It's not too heavy. She weighs just shy of three ounces. I think it's 2.8. But again, look at the look at that mon look at that monofilament top. It looks like that hair is growing right out of your scalp. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Nobody's gonna know you have a topper on. And even if they do, who cares? Who cares? Like I 
said it has a monofilament top. It can be parted in the middle, the left, the right. It has, quote, true to life heat synthetic fibers. It can be flat ironed. You can wear it super straight, just like it comes, or it can be curled with a curling iron. Now, remember, you don't want to use anything that's too hot. You want to make sure you look at the specs for your wig and just be very careful with, with the fibers. So let me show you how I put this on. First of all, this, as you can see, is my natural hair. Style Forward is a 16 inch topper. Love it. She's got five combs, two, three, four, five, strategically placed polyurethane front. It's a rim that's about three quarters of an inch wide and that can accommodate tape for added security. Now I have already placed the tape today. If you don't know about tape, wig tape, it's basically double-sided tape. You could Google it. I'll put a link below and you just peel it off and you put the tape strategically where you want it. I took my piece of tape which was as wide as this area here and I actually cut it in two just to make it easier to work with. Again, tilt your head back and then just flip it back. Keep your chin up. Let's find the edge of your hairline. And this has a middle part, a middle part on a monofilament top, which is wonderful because you can part her anywhere. So just find your natural, the edge of your natural hairline. I have a small widow's peak, so mine's pretty easy to find. And then press. Now remember, you've got the tape there. So just press it. And now you're going to go get those combs and you're going to snap them into place. Now I know right now it looks like it's kind of far down on my forehead, but it's really not because you can see right there, there's my hairline. All right. So now you're just going to go look for the combs. There is the first one. And holding the middle, because you don't want to pull that, pull, pull that tape off. Pull down on that comb as hard as you can. Pull, pull, pull while holding this part here. And then push up. And then snap. Because you want to grab, you want to grab the hair. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure your clips are open. And then shut. Okay, so now it's on. And if I wanted to do the back combs, I certainly could do the back combs. And I'm going to do the back combs because I'm going to show you a couple of styles. So now your back combs, make sure they're open, hold the top down, pull down on the comb and push up, snap the comb, hold the middle, pull down on the comb, then push up, snap it. And then the last one, hold the Hold the middle of the wig down so it doesn't slip and push up and then snap. Now, that topper is on and it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So now we're going to give it a very gentle combing. Start from the bottom and work your way up. I have this comb, but it's it's wide tooth like this one. So, But I will use this one. If you're like me and you have fine and thin hair, then I've got the fix for you. This topper gives you the added fullness and volume that you need. Let me show you the back. I'll give her a comb for you too.
I'll tell you, this topper moves just like real hair. I do have a very deep part on her, so because that's that's how I like to wear. But her front fringe, the front is fourteen and a quarter. From the crown down is sixteen and a quarter. The sides are sixteen and a quarter, and the back is sixteen and a quarter. That base that you see up there with the monofilament top, that is six by six and a half. And she weighs, are you ready? She weighs about two ounces. I think it's, yeah, 2.6 ounces to be exact. She does not feel heavy. I had her on my head for hours and hours on Saturday, and she was very comfortable. Now, I have to train this because I do like a deep part, so I'm going to put her on the wig head. Um, you know, I'll probably dampen her and then just put her on, on a wig head or a wig stand and just take this, just train her a little bit so that she stays where I want her to stay. But I do have a very deep part, so... Just keep that in mind. Now, one of the things that I wanted to show you is I'm going to pick her up with a clip in the back so that you can see how she looks just with a clip. You know, a barrette, a pretty barrette. I just took the, uh, the hair comb out. I love this topper. Um, the other topper that I have from Raquel Welch is called Top Billing. And I love that one also. I love it. And this color is just, if you've got silver white, you know, silver gray white type hair. I've got a bobby pin here. I've got to take this out. I think that you'll be in love with this color too. It's very hard to get an exact match, an exact match on, you know, white hair. But I, I have to say that hair fibers, the synthetic fibers are becoming, to me, even just in the three years that I've been reviewing wigs, um, the, the uh, fibers are getting better and better and better and just more lifelike the farther along we go. So all I'm doing now is just is just catching up the hair in the back, just like you normally would. Just pull it up as best you can. I'm driving blind here, but pulling it up the best I can. And then I'm going to put the barrette in it. Now I can feel that I don't have all of it caught in the back, but I want to just give you an idea. Let's see how that does. Okay, so you could just, you know, smooth that down a little bit back there, but you can definitely see. What I want you to notice is this right here. That looks like scalp. You cannot tell. You cannot tell. Which would you rather have, this or this? Now let me show you how you take it off. You just 
go around the perimeter, find your clips, remember there's five of them, just undo them one by one, be patient, you don't have to yank, so I've got three of them out, four, and the fifth one, where are you, is right toward the front. Now. Remember, you've got the tape there, so you're just going to gently push your, push your fingers over there and just loosen that tape. And now, what you're going to do, I usually get the first one, give it a peek and make sure the hair is out of it. Just take the hair out of it, that first one, and then you're just going to roll it back. Now just kind of roll it back. It'll come right off. Thank you.